JC Recovery House was started in 2013. The name JC House actually came from my grandfather, John Cascone, who left me financial support to go and help people. Being a recovering addict myself, being lost to drugs and alcohol, my grandfather wanted me to make a difference. So our organization's uh, goal is to help people uh, get off drugs and alcohol and to form a relationship with Jesus Christ. I'm the founder and the spiritual director. I'm uh, one of the lead servants. I'm one of the lead foot washers, and I'm also in recovery, so I have a multifaceted position. Three years ago, I walked through these thresholds, and I was broken. I was leaving church, and I was going to go smoke crack right after church, or I was drinking right after church. And then when I was in the 12-step program, I was just doing the 12-step program. I wasn't doing the Bible. So the concept of JC's Recovery House, which Stevie has established, is taking the biblical, the Bible, and the 12 steps and combining them. I've been in and out of jail my whole life. I had two kids and lost custody of them, two broken relationships, tried to get clean many, multiple times, and I uh, just couldn't get it right. My very first night here, I got released here on Thanksgiving Day. All of a sudden, I'm consumed with fear, and I'm sitting here, and then I know that Jesus can, can save me, but I've known that my whole life, and he still hasn't, so I was consumed with more fear. And also, I wanted to never, ever use again. I was like, I'm never going to use again. I'm never going to go back to that life. And God spoke to me in that moment in a still, small whisper, not an audible voice, but he spoke to me in my heart. It all went away, and he told me, be still. That part of your life is over. You never have to go back there again. He says, I've been preparing you, and I'm going to use you here. Now be still and stay. Spring of 2015, a drug called Flocka hit Fort Lauderdale. And um, I had lost everything. I lost my job, I lost my daughters, I lost my family, personal relationships with my dad, and my mom was like destroyed. You know, I cried out in the hotel room. I was like, God help me, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, I was miserable, I wanted to kill myself. And I ended up getting pulled over. I ended up having a warrant, I ended up going to jail. Four days into being in jail, I had an outside speaker come in. When it was over with, I went up to him, I asked him, I was like, I need some help. I can't stop drinking, I can't stop drugging. When he gave me his number, he told me, don't use when I get out and call him. And three weeks later, I got out, I called him. I came here, I got dropped off through them gates. Right here to this compound, I sat, and I actually sat right here. And I waited for the director to come and talk to me. And Stevie came over and shook my hand and gave me a hug and he's like, He's like, you're home now, brother, you know? <sighs> Get me kind of emotional, cause um, <sighs> I don't know, this is home, you know? Uh, we take anybody that needs help and we introduce them to the 12 steps, we introduce them to the Lord, we introduce them to this thing called the Recovery Bible Study. It's a, it's a combination of meeting and songs and worship and preaching and Bible and, and we hit them with everything we possibly can. And the important part of this is not to feed them religion. It's for them to stop drinking and drugging. Because I didn't want to hear about God while I was smoking or drinking. It's important that they stop drinking and drugging and in doing that and then working the process, eventually they will run into God. We have a schedule designed so they can have something to do every night because every night when we were out there, we were getting high. So you substitute the old behavior with something that's going to change their, their way of thinking. I'm a happily married man today and I enjoy life. And would I give it up? No. Why? Because God is enough for me. And I came here and, and God saved me. He really saved me and I owe him everything. And it's my joy and my honor to live each day for the Lord and, and he reminds me daily how much I need him. I just want to tell the guys out there just to stick with it. I tried everything else instead of turning the wheel over to somebody else and letting them make the big decisions, the hard decisions in my life, and it turned out to be the very best thing for me. Right now, as you can see from the shirt, the rain is coming down, and I think that's so appropriate for me to get this message out. The rain never stops. Drug addiction and alcoholism, unfortunately, is not going to stop. That means we can't stop. So lives are being turned around. I want people to know there is hope. Drug addiction and opioid crisis is real, but God is realer. Problems are big, but God is bigger.